let me say a word in defense of reason in dialogue with faith. Because faith is that proof. Faith unites us to that substance. But reason, in order to realize its full potential, needs the horizons revealed by and truths contained in the faith. And not just any faith, but the Catholic faith. You will not mind if I ask you a question that may startle you. How many of you would like to go to heaven? <laughs> now, how many of you would like to go right now if God were to offer you to go this moment? <laughs> Let's start smart. I thought that would be the case, isn't it? Hard question, I know. I would not like it. Uh, there is so much life to live here on this earth, even though our time here is short. When I was younger, I wanted many things for my life. I wanted to be the best conductor in the world. I know yet that will never be, but I'm still trying to get better. I wanted to, a car, to have a car and a family. I do have those. <laughs> but the car is not, not so interesting, but I'll tell you more about the family later. The point about these things is that they are pieces of a bigger picture. We must make the most of our God-given talents, our education and training, our professional opportunities, and of course, our personal relationships, the people we love and who love us, to live life to the fullest with the time that we have. I feel very honored that you have invited me to share with you how I am trying to do that, how my faith influences both my professional and my personal life and how I try to communicate with my face and what it means to me through the music I conduct. I will share some of my personal journey with you but I also look forward very much to hearing from you so I will end my speech in plenty of time to answer your questions. As I thought about what I would say to you today, I thought about our Austrian connections and also about the values we share. As it says on our website, on your website, Franciscan students take ownership of their faith. And that is something I believe in very strongly and try to practice every day. I have in my home a house chapel where I can find peace through prayer. My family, six kids, prays together in that space and you can imagine in the most holy moments the kids are start to scream. <laughs> <laughs> we experience, we are parents and we know that. But uh, nevertheless, I love to be there with them. When my wife Christiane and I, were, and I were planning to marry, our priest drew for us a triangle with an angle pointing upwards. He labeled each point. The top one was for God, and the other two were for Christiane and me. He, ex he explained that in the sacrament of marriage, each point must be connected. I must keep my connection with God and with my wife. She must do the same. If any of these parents becomes disconnected, your marriage will suffer. You could also draw the triangle with God and the top and the other two for family and for career. I know that breaking any pairing between my family and God, between my career and God, or between my career and my family, would cause great suffering in my life. That is why it is so important for us to pray together in our house. 
Even when I am away from home and family, where I, wherever I am working, I pray every day. When people ask how I have time in my life to pray every day, with so much travel and preparation, I answer, I clean my teeth every day, so why not my soul? My relationship with God is the same as that of a close friend. If you want to have a, rela a close relationship with a friend, then you call them every day, isn't it? The more you speak with your friend, the more you know them. It is the same with God. Do we have God in the Facebook? I'm not sure, my kids have him. <laughs> if you break the connection between yourself and God, you lose your values and beliefs. I was once told this story. There was a man who was stuck in quicksand and he prayed to God to save his life. A traveler happened upon him and offered to pull him out, but the man said, no, I am praying to God to get me out. Then a doctor happened by and offered his help, but the man again refused, saying that he was waiting for God to save him. Finally, a team of rescuers came to pull him out of the quicksand, but again the man refused them help. As a result, the man died. When he met God after his death, he asked, Why did you not answer my prayers? God replied, But I sent you a traveler, then a doctor, then a team of rescuers. So you must be ready to accept God's help through all means and be aware that you may see answers to your prayers in many different encounters throughout your professional lives. Thank you.